Hey guys, this is Steven here with another video on how to play some of my favorite puzzles. This one is on Aquarium. These Aquarium puzzles are a lot of fun because the mechanics are uh, very unique and very different from other puzzles. So let's give it a shot and see how it works out. So the numbers outside the grid represent how many cells in that row or column must be shaded in. The grid is going to be divided into regions or aquariums where the cells within those aquariums have to be filled out evenly across the rows. So if you kind of think about it like water being poured in, uh, the water is going to distribute itself evenly. So if we look at this region or aquarium here, and I were to shade in one of these cells here on the bottom, all of these cells are going to then have to be shaded in. And then uh, water is going to flow down as well. So if I fill in this cell, it's going to fill all of those along that uh, row within the region and then all the ones below it as well. So that is it for the rules. What I'm going to go ahead and try to do is solve this for you guys and share some common tips and tricks that will hopefully make it easier for you to play uh, some of these in the future as well. So the first tips is, again, to try to conceptualize water uh, being poured in. The water is going to have to flow uh, down and across, whereas air is going to have to flow across and then up. So if, for example, we find out that this is not going to be shaded in, we then know all of these are not going to be shaded in. Because you can't have a situation where you have water up here and water down there and air in between because the water, again, is going to flow down. So once you kind of wrap your head around that, it makes it a lot easier to do these puzzles. As far as where I'm going to look to start, is I'm going to look for small numbers that are paired with large regions, and I'm going to look for large numbers paired with large regions. And so a good example of that is this two here. We have a region with five here going across. We know that I can't fill in any of these because if I fill in one, I'm going to have to fill all of them, and that's going to be way more than two. So we know that that whole uh, section of the aquarium is going to be air. And then the same thing here with this three, we have a section of four here, which is greater than the three. So I can't fill in any of these because otherwise I'd have to fill them all in and that'd be too much. So we know those are all crossed out. And when we look at large numbers, we have to do a little bit of arithmetic. This is a 10 by 10 grid. There's a section of four, another section of four, and a section of two. There's no way these two can be shaded in because I'm gonna run into a problem where I'm going to have six, and then I'm going to have to, you know, somehow divide up this section of four, uh, and it's just not going to work. Same thing here. If I highlight those, I'm not going to be able to divide this section up. So in fact, those two are not going to be shaded. And the rest are here. And to make it easier for you guys uh, visually, uh, I've done the setting where once you've solved the clue, it's uh, grayed out. Now, as far as um, other tips and tricks is, usually what I try to do is I look for even or odd pairs along the rows. And what I mean by that is, if we look to see here, this top row is a two. We have a section of one and two sections of two. There's no way I can fill in this uh, odd number because then I have two even numbers uh, and that's gonna be a three or that's gonna be a three. There's no way to do uh, this cell. So this has to be unshaded. Now, I don't know if it's these two or those two, but I know it's not this one. So that's what I mean by looking for pairs. Um, and so if, when we look at this three, we know it's either gonna be these two plus that one, or it's gonna be these three. Uh, but if I've highlighted this cell here, then I know it's not going to be those. Because again, looking for how the sections pair off with one another. Uh, so that can be helpful. And then lastly, uh, looking for how the regions are going to trickle down into other rows or columns. So for example, if I fill this cell in here, I'm going to trickle down and actually jut into this second column here. Uh, and so that's something to keep in mind. Same thing here. If I fill in this, it's going to trickle down jut into this other column. So those are things just to keep in mind when you're going through them. So that's it for the tips uh, and the tricks. So let's just go through this puzzle and see if we can 
uh, make some deductions and, and solve the rest of it. So this uh, column is a four. We already have one, so we only need three more. So there's no way I could put water here or here. Otherwise, it'd fill up too much. So, you know, the, those two are not part of it. Um, let's see. Here we have another four. We have a section of four. That whole uh, aquarium can't be filled because we already have one that would be five. So we can cross that out. Um, let's see. So here we have threes. You can see a section of three, section of three, section of three, and then this oddball one. We know that, that one can't be it because if we shaded that in, we'd create a group of four somehow, and that would be too much. And what else? Here is another four that we know that this can't be part of it because if we filled that in, it'd fill in this whole section and that would be five once you include that one. So with air, right, we know air flows across so we can cross out all of those and it goes up as well. So we can cross those out. So that whole top section we know is not going to be filled in. That is helpful because now in this column, the seven, we already have one, two, three knocked out. So we know that the rest are going to be filled in to complete the seven. And you can see water is going to flow across and down. So this whole aquarium's filled. And then same thing here, it's going to flow across uh, and we wanna fill this aquarium level with water. So again, think about you know a, a bucket or you know a, a fish tank, you're, you're filling it up the water is going to rise evenly through the region. Now these threes are solved and these two, so in fact, we can just cross out all of these. Uh, and so that is a great start. Now this four has already got three, so it just needs one more. So it's either gonna be this one at the bottom or this one at the bottom, but we know it can't be at the top because again, if we fill this in, we're gonna have to fill in the ones below it and that'll be too much. So we got to just leave one space um, left on each aquarium. All right. So this row here is a four. There's only four left. So we know it's all of those. And again, water is going to flow down. So this is water at the top of the aquarium. So that row, and it's going to trickle down into here. So now we have... Um, this five rows completed. We have four plus the one is five. So we can X those out and that's now solved this uh, column. So that's going to be there. Um, what's next? Seven. So this column, we've already nixed three of them. So that means the rest has to be filled. And again, we're going to fill our water across uh, and here, across and down to fill um, the aquariums to be level. This one's going to go across. Now this four is solved, so we know that this, uh, this one's X'd out. This five just needs one more. We have two and four. So these cannot be water. Right, if I fill one in, I have to fill in the other, and that's going to break it. So we know that that can't be it. And then air rises, so we know that above is also X'd out. Okay, um, let's think about this five. So it's either going to be these two, right? We have three, so three plus two, or it's going to be these two. Does that break uh, if we do any of those? not so that doesn't help us right now um, let's think about this row so four we just need one more so it can't be can't be either of these because that would break it if I fill in one so we know that those are no no good and it's got to be one of these oh this columns already solved so we know it's not that one therefore it's this one and we're getting close, getting close to the end here. 
So three is already in that column. We know then that it can't be here because we just need one more. That would be two if we filled that in. And because we crossed out that one, we know we have to cross that one out as well because remember we have five. So it's either got to be three plus these two or it was going to be these two. Well, it's got to be these two now because we've already taken out one of those. So we filled that out. Three just needs one more. And the four is done. And all right. So this four, three's already filled out. We know that it can't be here because then it would flow down and it would break that four. So we know that that is air and that's water. That solved the seven. And now the five just needs one last one there. And that, I believe solve it and it did so hopefully you guys enjoyed that um hopefully the audio has been okay i've been having some issues with my microphone lately so i've switched to the bluetooth headphones um but i just might buy myself a new one unless somebody out there wants to tell me how to fix a clicking sound that i keep hearing on my obs so anyways if you've enjoyed this one please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more like this in the future thanks everyone have a good night